From the Wabash Valley Chevy Dealer Sports Desk, here's Sports Director Grant Pugh. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Hinkle Fieldhouse. The nets have been cut down. The confetti is on the floor. Not the confetti that we wanted tonight, sadly. Seton Hall Pirates beating the Indiana State Sycamores 79-77. to Sycamores come up short of tying the single-season school record for wins. But, hey, hats off on a tremendous season. This was an incredible basketball game from start to finish. Here's how it unfolded here at Hinkle. Sycamore's down double digits in the first half, but here they come. Julian Larry with a big basket here. I issue on 11 to nothing run. We are all tied up at the halftime break. Second half, big shot Rob. Robbie Avila for three. I issue trails 53 to 51. Then Xavier Bledson, Jabo time with the and one, 62 60 with 9.17 to go. How about Julian Larry from the corner? Hello, Sycamore's lead, 63 to 62 with 8.33 left. In a tie basketball game, Ryan Conwell, huge grabbing the boards. He grabs a rebound here, kicks it to Julian Larry. ISU leads 69 to 67, 5.23 left to play. Down by one, how about Jason Kent with a basket? Indiana State leads 71 to 70. Here is Ryan Conwell for three, and it's Indiana State up 74 to 70. His first basket of the night. A little later, make it 77 to 70. Isaiah Swope again, monster game with 19 points. However, Seton Hall goes on a nine to nothing run. Dre Davis layup gives the Pirates a 79 to 77 lead. Sycamores get a chance at the end. Swope once no, again no, then it's Conwell letting it fly. It looks good. It is off the mark and no good. The Pirates come all the way back to stun the Sycamores. 79 to 77, the final win the NIT championship. Heartbreak for Coach Schertz and ISU. Yeah, I think, you know, time is a way to giving perspective to things um, right now. You know, um, it's too too close, um, you know, and to lose that way when you, you know, you pour everything you have into it and you feel like, you know, I mean, the uh, swoop shot goes in. We felt like, you know, we were in great position to win. We've closed those games all year long, you know, up seven with, with 250 to go. And uh, we just, you know, did, didn't make plays down the stretch. And, and the credit Seton Hall, they did. But um, but it's been an amazing run, uh, an amazing journey. And, and to go on this with this team, what they've done for, uh, for our program, what they've done for Indiana State, what they've done for Terre Haute, what they've done for me, um, you know, could never, never be repaid. I mean, it's a, it's a, um, to, the ability to come to work with this group ten months uh, and and every single day and just enjoy every one of them is 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 uh, mind-boggling and uh, it's it's um, something I'll never forget and I think it's something that uh, the people of Terre Haute you know will, will never forget either. It's it'll be right there with that um, you know the '79 group in terms of you know man what a, what a, what a great you know what a great run what a great journey and people will talk about you know where they were when it happened and these guys have forever etched themselves in, in history and created an incredible legacy. Coach Schertz summing it up perfectly there as they clean the arena behind me. Hats off to these two seniors. Of course, Jabo, Xavier Bledson, six years with Coach Schertz, three here at in Indiana State, and Jake Wolf, who is now second all-time in games played in NCAA men's basketball. A long ride back to Terre Haute tonight, but so much to be proud of for this season for this Indiana State men's basketball team. Now, people ask Schertz about his decision coming. He said he's not going to make a decision about his future tonight. going to take some time, turn his phone off, and then he would like to make a decision is he coming back to ISU? Is he possibly going to St. Louis? Like to make a decision this weekend, but tonight is about celebrating this Indiana State men's basketball team that came oh so close to cutting down these nets and having a big old party in Terre Haute. Hey, we will send it back to Terre Haute with Nicole Christine. Grant View live from Hinkle Fieldhouse. More news to come right after a quick timeout.